time for our annual Hugger Weed Countdown! Ooh. Now, before we get into this, I have to give the standard disclaimer. This is called Hooker Weed because that's that's just a it's it's a it, yeah, it's, it's it's a key it's a, yeah it's catchy but let's let's stress here there is nothing wrong with dressing sexy on Halloween nothing or being a hooker if you live in Nevada yeah you know it's le it's perfectly legal if you live where it's legal like Amsterdam. and that's and that's how you pay your bills yeah we, I'm we, here to judge you we are not judging the sexy we are not judging yeah the the content of your costume what this is all about i mean how can i judge anybody for being too sexy when i'm wearing this his point is a very good point um but what 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 we're more about is it's not the the, the fact that you're dressing sexy it's the subject of the sexiness yeah because there are very many sexy costumes, and I always focus the. This isn't about homemade costumes. This is no. about mass marketed, produced costumes for the general people. Some that, things translate pretty well to being sexy, like the sexy cop is a classic. Yeah. The sexy nurse. But but th there there is sexy devil. However. When you see these costumes, it's like someone saw something in the world and said, you know what? That should be fuckable. And, it should. and it shouldn't. So let's let's get started. I'm gonna with our, our countdown this year. Let me let me send you our first contestant on oh god, why? Woman's Christmas girl costume. <laughs> you're kicking me and, and you have to love how how broad a lot of these costumes <gasps> are because they are attempting to violate trademark and copyright without violating trademark and copyright um this is the sexy cindy lou who i mean her hair does look phallic the, and it has handles this is sexy wow C now that i look at it that looks like a really messed up sex toy this sexy cindy lou who if if you don't understand this, this is from How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And Cindy Lou Who was the littlest Who. Little tiny, little girl Who, who made the Grinch's heart grow three sizes. Not his I dick! Don't think it was his heart. It's no, no, no. Because <laughs> if you're looking you at. You set me up for that one because I was sitting here trying to hold it in. I don't think it's his heart that grew three sizes. If, if you're looking at Cindy Lou Who and you got a boner, stop. You should seek counseling. That's not a good thing. And there is there's a surprisingly for for being Halloween. I guess it's the it's the overlap, the dread. Yeah. Also, why would you be a Christmas character for Halloween? Well, there's a lot of it this year. Um. Like Christmas now starts in fucking August, I think. Well, th th this is kind of ostensibly. I'm telling you though, her hair now that I look at it looks like a fucking dildo dildo with handles. It does. I can't unsee it now. So, moving right along. <laughs> Do you remember a Christmas story? Of course that which is, is very funny i want to explain this to our uk viewers because this is not a thing they do there in fact nobody in the uk knows this movie really yeah i know it's a it's like they're they're like what a christmas to be fair, i had never seen it until i married my ex-husband who was obsessed with it a christmas story is a uh a, a holiday movie based around a little boy's coming of age, growing up, and all he wanted was a BB gun for Christmas, which, and it's, it's, it's like 1950s stories of Americana, and... I think it was even earlier than that. I think it's like the 30s. No, it's not the 30s. Because they don't even have a no, TV. No, you're right. It's radio. To little orphan it's radio. Annie on the, the radio. It's a Like, it's like, yeah, it's like post-depression. So, it's, it's like this old stuff, and, and it... It has this scene with a lamp. And it, it, 
the, the, the main character's father has won a lamp that is a leg. It's a female it's a major leg. Award. It's a major award. It's a woman's leg with fishnets on it. Yeah. And yeah, I guess it's sexy. But this... I, I never looked at that leg and thought, you know what? I, I, I want to find a way to fuck it. Woman's A Christmas Story Leg Lamp Dress Costume. I have seen this costume work one time. There's a guy, I forget his name, but he's an amputee. So he only has one leg. And every year for Halloween, he does something awesome surrounding the fact that he has one leg and one year he did this <laughs> and that's the only time i've seen this costume work but all right now this is not only is you shouldn't be wanting to fuck a lamp even if it is that, shaped that's like the food. whole storyline in the movie though too yeah i mean because like ralphie kind of rubs it and is yeah. like yeah we've already learned this, sure. we've already learned this lesson you shouldn't want to fuck it but on the other hand this is one of those explainer costumes. Yeah. Because I don't... Cause when you're going to have to tell people what you are. Yeah. When I look at this, I don't go, you're the lamp from a Christmas story. I go, what the fuck is up with your skirt? I go, oh, you bought that dress that lost on Project Runway last week. <laughs> yeah. it's it's <laughs> Unless, of course, there's like an LED bulb under there somewhere. <laughs> Or something. I mean, considering where it would be, I feel like that would be uncomfortable. But I know, LEDs right? Don't get super hot. I know. What, what? LEDs get very super hot. Do they? Okay. So yeah, no. Yeah. Here's a little quick electrical stuff for you, folks. Um, the LED itself does not get hot, but LEDs require resistors to work properly. Those get very hot, and every LED light bulb out there has a big heat sink built into it to dissipate the heat from those resistors in the circuitry. So, you learn something. It's amazing. The brighter the LED, the bigger the heat sink because the resistors are... Yeah. You learn things. And you also learn this... What are you doing? What are, what are you fucking doing? We got another... And we have one more Christmas one. We're, we're, we're counting them right on down. Stay um, in your fucking lane, Christmas. The, Bad enough you've erased Thanksgiving. This became a bit of a meme this year. Um, so you've heard of Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> I love those because I love shitty puns. Have you heard of Elf on the Shelf? That you can fuck. No. You know why? You shouldn't want to fuck the elf on the shelf. No. The elf on the shelf is supposed to make you be good, not naughty. That is a weirdly particular fetish. And that's, I'm that's the entirely wrong use for the elf on the shelf. I'm scared to think how you picked up this fetish, my friend. Yeah. You you you're not supposed to get a boner from the elf on the shelf. That's no. right. You're right on the you're on the naughty list there, for for good. Cause, I as mm, no. Also, those things are goddamn creepy. They are. Like when I lived with my sister, my nephew had Elf on the Shelf, and like <clears throat> now he's a little old for it, but he does it for his younger sister. <laughs> like he's in on it now, so he helps. You have to pass down the misery. I understand. But. His elf's name is Chippy. And, like, my sister... My sister's not one of those moms that does, like, really fucking elaborate dioramas with the elf, like the elf in the hot tub with the Barbies or whatever, like... And I would suggest stuff, and she's like, Tara, I'm lucky if I remember to move the damn thing. Like, I don't know why I got into this. So, and she, occasionally, Patrick would be like, oh, look, Chippy's still in the same place. And she's like, shit, I forgot to move the stupid elf. And I, and they're creepy, and they're weird, and they're kind of a pain in the ass for parents. They're not sexy. 
And again, I'm going to point out, they, they are going way outside trying to avoid that trademark infringement. Sexy bookshelf elf. Huh? Uh, okay. Huh? Sex, it's, it's and, a bookshelf elf. Well, and honestly, it's far enough off the brand that she just looks like a sexy elf. Yeah. Like, nobody's going to know you're the elf on the shelf. I know, yeah. Not really. They're going to think you're some weird sexy Santa. Like, nobody's going to get <sighs> it. Now, every we, every year we've been doing this, we, we come up against uh, a, a, one of those costumes that's that's cashing in on uh, a fad for the year. Yeah. Like, there was the Pokemon year. Yeah. And... Sexy poop emoji, I feel like, was... Yeah. When emojis were really the thing. So this year, the fad was the fidget spinner. The fidget spinner. And I'm like, I we thought... We had to, a fidget spinner butt plug. I thought to myself... We nope. had someone that used a fidget spinner as a butt plug. Nobody is going to... Nobody could possibly find a... Think they could fuck the fidget spinner itself. Nobody. But we did. We had someone who shoved it up his butt. We covered that on the show. That's getting fucked by the fidget spinner. That's not fucking the fidget spinner. Oh. That's a different. Well, this is welcome to the, the sexy fidget spinner. And I want to point out, this is lazy as shit. This, this is. It's also called the fidget me spinner. That's, that's so classy. So classy. What this costume consists of is two fidget spinners attached to the nipples and a bodysuit, and that's it. I want to point out, though, that at least as I understand the female anatomy, uh, having one, yeah. your nipples aren't up here? No, no, they're really not. They're, they're kind at of, least mine aren't. Yeah. Mine are, like, down here? Yeah. Hers appear to be up here? I, so either that thing doesn't fit her right. Yeah. Or this was made by dudes. Probably made by dudes, yes. Probably made by dudes. I, I just... It's, it's so lazy, though. If you've never though. touched a boob, you don't get to design for them. It's so lazy, though. Yeah. I mean, not a, let's let's. I mean, do those things even function? Because if they don't, just go home. I mean, if you can't actually walk up and spin those things, fuck it. Well, that oh okay, and this thing is just asking for fucking trouble if those things work. Yes, it is. But I feel like if you're gonna wear that and they're not functional, you're just half-assing it. And uh, and on top of this, but why if would, they're functional, you wear them only around people that you know and trust. Why would you want to fuck a fidget fidget spinner? Why? Why is that sexy to you? Why? There are so many. But we we make objects. We make fucking things for you to fuck. Specially mm -hmm. made. Specifically designed to be fucked. Why would you go? Okay. There are these things over here that are made and designed to be fucked that are probably enjoyable, but I'm going to fixate on this damn thing that I'm not supposed to fuck. Yeah. I just, just, so, uh, uh, Lady uh, Michal says, uh, the holes on the fidget spinner are too small to fit a pe penis through. How many penises yeah. have you seen? You'd like to hope. You'd like to think because there's somebody somewhere who's just who just went, oh yeah, that's that's way too small to fit a dick in. Sorry, sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. I know, I know you're out there. Sorry, man. We feel for you, but oh boy, let's let's move on. Okay. <clears throat> Speaking of lazy. Not only is this, why the Christ did you get a boner by looking th at this, but this is also, you, you didn't even fucking try. And, and I'm disappointed, because this is Yandy. 
And Yandy is normally so very involved. In this the is their brand. Like, stupid fucking sexy costumes are their brand. They didn't even try. They did not it's even... what they do. Sexy hacker costume. It's fucking Mr. Robot. Come That's on. That's a hoodie and a mask. It's a hoodie and a mask. You didn't even try. You didn't even try. I mean, to be fair, they're only charging 24 bucks for it. But it's, it's a hoodie. Yeah. It's a fuck it. You, like, you could buy the mask for $5 and just wear a hoodie you already have. You could buy the official mask. Yeah. And not this, this fucking knockoff, because that doesn't that's not even right. But still, who was sitting there during Mr. Robot, during the whole F Society shit, and went, That guy's hot. That th I, I uh, that that mask is turning me right the fuck on. I I I want to fuck that. I have always wanted to fuck the Monopoly guy, <laughs> but it's a girl. But with the mustache, though. With the mustache, because you know it's just not right without the mustache. We're gonna get a YouTube comment that's like, "What's wrong with that?" <laughs> We're gonna get so many comments, and I'm not gonna read any. Why, of them. why are you kink shaming guys who like girls with mustaches? I'm I'm not gonna read a single one of them. This just just. That's just creepy. Oh, and you know what? It wouldn't be a hooker ween without inappropriate racism. I, I just, I, I, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't. I wish my recapture would behave itself, but. I don't, 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 I don't. No. <sighs> Do I really have to explain Hi. this shit? Did you hear that little chirp? <laughs> Hello. She just woke up and pawed at me and chirped at me. Even, okay. even she Hi. knows. Even she knows. She's like, Mommy, this is wrong. This is wrong. I don't like it. Hi, I can't rub your belly right now. I'm on the internet. Also, $77? Really? Oh, fuck you. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. No. No, no. That's like... You could buy a bunch of shit at Michael's and make that for 20 bucks. And still offend everybody. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're not. I... Also, I don't know if you know this, but it was the Native Americans that popularized the red lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's... Smoky eye, red lip, Iroquois. not true they're not your costume no. they're, they're not that's that's just the thing like ah uh, the thing that somebody's actual culture isn't your costume no especially when you take that culture and like this okay i want to be this but fuckable yeah that's worse you you took it and you made it worse you just and then you so, added like an '80s workout headband. You made it worse. Okay, now there. I, I'm sad to say there there was definitely somebody in the theater for this very popular movie who saw the villain of the piece and said, "You know what? Ah, uh, there's always that somebody. I got a stiffy." There's always that somebody. I just, I was not expecting it to be this particular villain. Um, the dancing sewer clown costume. Oh, we're doing, we're, we're really doing sexy Pennywise, huh? Somebody want to fuck Pennywise? I, okay. Okay. Why would you? That's not a good thing to put your penis in. No. It's. 
<laughs> Isn't its real form a giant spider? Oh, people! Wait, I can't rub your belly right now. I'm sorry. I know you're very cute, but I'm on the internet. And of course, the entire channel is is awash with waha, waha, waha. <laughs> Does he make that sound? I haven't seen the new movie. Oh, it's the old one, though. It's in the old Hi, one. Hi, I know. It's a classic. I love you, too. I can't right now. I'm busy. I... I can't rub my uh... belly right now. I'm sorry. And again, Yandy here skirting the line of uh, copyright. Dancing sewer clown. Right. Does that sound in any way appealing at all to uh... anybody? <laughs> You know, for like, until you got to clown, I was concerned it was going to be sexy Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> garbage can. <laughs> he lives in a garbage can, not the sewer. So I guess that still doesn't work. Dancing sewer clown. Dancing. <laughs> if you wear that in the sewer, you're going to get really dirty. Yeah, I just, it, oh man. A hundred and twenty dollars. Right. Yeah, it's also really fucking expensive. Hundred and twenty. Yeah. And it doesn't even come with the wig. Or the balloon. It's literally just the dress and the little choker. Gloves, pantyhose, wig, and balloon. Not a so it's not even the it's just a dress. It's just the dress and the choker. That's it. You hundred and twenty dollars. Hundred Man. Oh, oh. Don't give people ideas. No, I'm pretty sure we had sexy we had sexy Sesame Street characters a few years back. Yeah. That's been done. So, so uh, what well, a lot of the complaints about this kind of stuff is objectification. And you know, mm -hmm. that's fine. That's up to the individual person if they want to dress in a way they may be objectified or not. That's that's, you know. However, Oh, this one just, this costume just kind of cuts out the middleman. Um, I know, I know. I love you too. I can't pet you right now. Adult fabric sexy doll mask. She's like grabbing my arm. Peggy. Oh my God. <laughs> I waited for it. I knew it was coming. Why Why would you want to be a blow up doll? I mean, that's so much as you're I mean do you not like yourself that much? Yeah, like that's some commentary. Yeah, seriously. I I just I Oh, it's, uh, They're saying we've done one of these before. This, the, this, this, not this. No, but like a a, se a sex doll costume. Us, but not. Look at this, God. This is a horror show. Also, I know this isn't the point, but the fit on the crotch of that thing really killing the sexy vibe. Yeah, that's that's kind of ragged up a little bit. That's, Cause that's kinda... it looks like she's got a face hugger sucking on her <laughs> uterus. I don't think that's the look you're going for wearing the sex doll mask. That's that's also that's just the dead eyes on that thing. I know. It's like the cross between a fish and a corpse. I mean, at least it appears that hole's not functional. I'm sure someone would attempt to rectify that. Yeah. Uh, well, did you watch uh, Stranger Things? I did. You loved it, huh? I did. I was thinking about doing the 11 thing, but I feel like that's that's already cliche, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, you, you could. You, I was going to get the wig and like be munching on an ego. You, you could say, Tara, stop. Stop right now. Just just stop. Don't just just stop. I don't even like the name. Just stop. It did, this sent, just sent me to the main page. Oh, it did? Yeah. 
the it's the upside down honey. Oh, they have Disney princess lingerie though. It's sexy eleven. Sexy, sexy eleven. That shouldn't be a thing. Who I'd like to point out to everybody is uh thir- thirteen years old. Thir- twelve in, in the and, first season. You know, has been traumatized. Traumatized abused. and abused her whole life. Yeah. And doesn't have a great vocabulary. And I also love that Yandy's way of, of avoiding the, the copyright here was upside down, honey. Yeah. You you wanted you wanted to you wanted to fuck you wanted to fuck eleven. You, That's not okay. You just no 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 you're no. bad and you should feel bad yes yes this is if you find this sexy you have many problems many mm-hmm. many problems you 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 you're, you're going to end up on an nbc show and be asked to take c yeah. that is and what's funny is I'm looking at your thumbnail because it's not coming up on my uh, page. It doesn't even look that different from the regular Eleven costume. Like the only difference is the dress is a little shorter in the front. Uh, it's literally the only difference between that and the regular old Eleven costume. Not really trying that hard, are you, Gandy? And last but not least, I want to point out this is sold on Amazon.com. Um, probably the most egregious. This this one was destined to be my number one this year on our 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 countdown to the worst. Um, with everything going on, be wicked costumes, women's sexy border patrol costume. No. Go fuck yourself. Ah, uh, no. No. Mm-mm. I could try to explain to you everything that is wrong with this but i feel i would be using words with too many syllables for you to continue to follow me like words that have two of them let's break it this Bad. Bad. This bad. Bad. This, this, this bad. Duh. Uh. Uh. I mean, I guess at least we don't have sexy border wall. There was border wall. Just not right, a sexy but we don't. Wall. There is a border wall costume. Yeah. Both, like sexy border wall. Yeah. Now someone's going to send me the link for it and be like, actually we do. And I'm going to be like, I hate you. Yeah. Everything is awful. I just, I. Oh, your angry debater's breathing is syncing up with Peggy snoring. I wish you could hear her. I wish I could. Let me see if I can. Well, no, I can't take the mic out of the thing. I wish you could hear her snoring right now. She's pouting on her belly. Kids, be safe on this Halloween. Be as sexy as you want to be, but just understand the implications of your costume 
If you want to be a sexy something, be a sexy something that's supposed to be sexy. Bingo. Not a sexy something that really scared the fact that you're getting an inappropriate boner is scaring the shit out of everybody. 